beds ready to plant and to get them ready what I'm doing is I am actually raking off the mulch that is existing on the beds I've had that on there all winter it's actually from last season and it helps protect the beds and the soil underneath so I'm raking that off into the aisles and then exposing that soil I'm going to add compost on the top an inch or two of that and that will act as my initial nutrients for the plants and then I will add nitrogen I'm going to do blood meal is the plan in a few weeks after I plant these just side dress the plants if they need it so I'm hoping that the compost is enough but sometimes it's not enough these are all soil blocks so they're really easy to transplant you just separate the blocks and then stick them in the ground some of my plants are a little bit overgrown because I was not expecting this great big winter storm that was crazy cold so they are very big I should have potted them up but I was really hoping to get them in before this. So um, yeah, they're going in now. When it comes to planting, I have a tendency to be very optimistic in what I can get done in a day. Two days ago when I came up here to plant all this stuff, I didn't make it up here until four and it gets dark at six. <laughs> and so you can see where this is going. I did not finish in time. So I still have lots of plants to get into the ground today. I'm still working on the cilantro. I have some spinach. It's just a second succession of spinach. So it's not as big as this first batch. And then I also have the broccoli rob to get in the ground today. I'm putting down some cardboard in preparation for a compost pile that I'm putting together. So far we have just used compost that we purchased because we just barely got up here last year and I just didn't have enough time to make my own compost but now we have hay and we have cow manure so I figured it was time to get started making some of my own. So Cameron made me these boards that stack together like Lincoln logs. They're just cedar fence posts and he cut off the ends and then cut little slits in them so they stack together really nice. This morning I was so clear a lot as I need To see the horizon in the far Excuses were two for a penny But they've all gone out the window of this car And when I feel the wind on my face preparing an area of the garden for planting peas and oats and I was just getting three rows ready to go. This is where I'm going to be planting my tomatoes after the peas and oats are done. The peas and oats will just act as a cover crop. We won't be harvesting any of them. They have so many benefits and I love that they cover the soil, they keep the weeds out, and the best part is that they fix nitrogen in the soil. So I won't have to add additional nitrogen when I go to plant my tomatoes. But when we were prepping the soil, we ran into a major weed that I didn't even realize was a weed. And it is these wild onions 
They were so hard to get out of the soil and I had to use a shovel, a broad fork, all different tools, but we finally got them out. It took us about four hours, but we were able to get the soil all prepped and ready to plant these peas and oats. I'm taking some of this seed inoculant and I put it in this bucket and then I'm going to put in the seeds and you mix in a little bit of water. This just helps the you to have better germination and I think it also helps fix more nitrogen in the soil. Yeah, this. Uh oh. It's probably because the seeds are wet. Oh, did you just wet them? Yeah, I had to put that soil or that inoculant on them. Oh, so is it getting all like sticky? Mm -hmm. yeah. You might want to straddle that row. Okay, not. <laughs> like there you this? go. Yep. <laughs> it looks weird on camera. Yeah. But it looks fun. This earthway seeder is a new tool and I was just kind of figuring out what I was doing and I realized about halfway through that my main problem that I was having was I had actually filled the seed hopper too full. So the, the wet seeds definitely was contributing and the fact that I had a, a pea and oat mix, that's how I bought the seeds before I had had the seeder. And so two different size seeds makes it so it definitely gets more stuck. Next time I will just buy the seeds individually. Oh, how's your wild onions? Oh, they're good. Oh, we picked those out of the garden all day today. Now we're eating them. Now we're eating them.